welcome back everyone so many of you might have a question in your mind that what is the difference between system restore and system image recovery on windows 10 and windows 11. now both system image recovery and system restore are designed to fix pc problem and error however many users cannot figure out the differences between the two what is system restore system restore allows the user to revert their computer state to that of a previous point in time which can be used to recover from system malfunction or other kind of problem whereas system image recovery create a copy of drive and whenever your windows is damaged crashed or stopped working you can use system image recovery to restore the entire image to make it work again if still confused no problem let me share the main differences between both of them so that all your doubt can be cleared so the main difference is that system image recovery contain everything on your hard drive or SSD including your operating system, application, setting and all your personal file and data. Whereas system restore only affects system file and settings. This means that if your computer ever experiences a major failure, you can use system image recovery to restore the entire content of your hard drive back to the way it was when you created the system image. But with system restore, you can only return the system files and settings, not your personal file to an earlier point in time. So that is the main and the major difference. Another difference is that system image recovery require a separate or any kind of USB or external hard drive to take the system image backup. Where a system restore can be performed directly within the windows. Now, if I talk about the operation time, the system restore is a simple and short process whereas system recovery is a very difficult and long process and now let's see that how you have to create and use system image recovery and system restore and by the end of this video i will also share that which one you should go with and which one is more important now in order to create a system restore it's very simple you have to click on your window search type create and then from a suggestion you have to click on create a restore point the system properties box will be up now here at the very bottom you will find create a restore point right now from the drive that has system protection turned on now here you have to click on create in case if this option is not been highlighted then you have to click on configure and make sure system protection has been turned on now you have to click on create now here you have to give a name to this restore point so that you can easily identify that when exactly you created a restore point so I will give today's date so that I can identify that when exactly I created but if you want to give any kind of name then you can give that name and once you are done you have to click on create and it will just take few seconds and the restore point will be successfully created and now in the future if you want to restore the computer to this date when you created the restore point again you have to click on your windows search type create click on create a restore point and now this time here you have to click on system restore click on next and now you can see this restore point with the date that i manually created so you can simply select it and then click on next and follow the instruction to restore the computer now there is one more option here that says show more restore point and if you check this box it will list you all kind of restore point created on your computer okay now let's see that how you have to use system image recovery so for that you have to click on your windows search type control click on control panel now here in the system and security you will find backup and restore in case if you don't find this kind of navigation then you have to click on view by and make sure it's been selected to category then click on backup and restore and now here on the left hand side you will find create a system image click on it now it will be looking for a backup devices and on the very top you will find on a hard disk so here from the drop down as i said for the system image recovery you need any kind of external usb or hard drive so wherever you want to take the system image recovery you have to select that drive here once you have selected then you have to click on next now it will let you know that the backup could take up to 430 gigabyte of disk space so just make sure that this kind of space is available on that particular hard drive or usb and it even let you know the following drive will be backed up so as i said that it will be backing up the entire drive including your operating system setting data that you have on this drive 
Now finally you can click on start backup and the process will be started and depending that how much data you have it can take long time. And now from my point of view I would recommend you that you should go ahead and create both system image recovery and system restore point. Now why I'm recommending you because these are the free options that you get from your windows and you should enjoy both of these options so that any one of them can surely help you in the future. Now many times what it happen if you have created a system restore point and if you have any kind of minor problem then you can go with the system restore to fix that problem. But in future if there is any kind of major issues like crashing or any kind of corrupted file or your computer is not loading up then you can use the system image recovery to completely fix your problem. Okay, so according to me, both the restore point and system image are required and it's recommended that you should create right now. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully your all doubts are being cleared and it's really recommended that you should create both system image recovery and system restore point right now so that you can avoid many kind of problem in the future. And if you like the video guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.